What is going on everybody? Coming at you today from Jacksonville again. Uh, I'm grounded today because my uh, kayak steering cable went out. Got another one on the way, so I'm gonna try to figure that out this upcoming week. But I'm over here by this bridge up in Jacksonville and it is a windy, nasty day. I think it's 15 to 20 all day. You can see the, the chop that's out there, some white caps just right there in the inlet. Uh, the beach is like six to seven foot breakers on the beach. So there's no way I can even go out there. So I've got my beach cart, but I'm, I'm down below these rocks right here just to film an intro because it's so windy. But we're gonna try to make something happen. I know there's a lot of structure and I've caught some good fish right here before, some flounder and different things and some reds and mangroves. So we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens. All right, apologize again if there's any wind noise. I'm trying to face out of the direction of the wind. First rig I got going out is just a simple, it's a whiting rig, three ounce weight at the bottom. Got some peeled, fresh dead shrimp on it, a couple beads, and uh, there's a good bit of current just moving through here. And I've caught whiting out here before, so I'm just gonna throw this out there really just to catch anything, no matter what it is. I got this, I got this rod holder right here set that beast right there and just let it ride i'm not gonna fish primarily right here on this spot just because yeah, i want to get to where the current's moving from right to left i want to get up here to where i can fish more of this structure so that's where primarily but i'm gonna sit that thing right out there just like that all right i think i got my first fish because uh this line went slack definitely went slack Oh, oh, ooh. this one's got some weight to it. He's got some fight. Please don't be a stingray. That's what it feels like. Oh no. Oh, guys, what did we get on this first fish? This is, this is off that field shrimp. Like I said, I hope it's not a stingray. That could be rough. I'm hoping for a black drum or something like that. Ooh. Make sure. Yep. All right. Oh, it's a shark of some sort, I think. Or is it a black drum? Please be a black drum. Please, please be a black, black drum. Oh, it's a red. Oh, sweet. It's a stinking red. I don't even, I have my net. Oh, it's a nice red. It's a nice red. Right off the bat, I got these little tiny hooks on here, so I got light drag going. Uh-uh, 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 don't do that. I should have brought my net over. <laughs> oh gosh, don't spit it. Come on, quit shaking your head. I don't know how I'm gonna land this thing on all these rocks. Might have to get wet. Oh, he's hooked right there in the corner of the mouth. Come on, baby. He might be over slot. We will get a quick measure on him if we land him. That's an if, because he is a big fish for that size of hook. I mean, it's a size, I think one hook that I've got on him right now. Hey bud, come back this way. No, no, no. Uh-uh, 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 don't do that. Oh, uh-uh, 
quit that. Hey, ow, 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 ow. He just burnt my hand a little bit. That's fine. If I can land him, it'd be all worth it. I think it's a bull. I think it's going to be too over slot. I think he's going to be over slot. Let's see if we can, if we can get him in this little pocket right here. Oh gosh. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Oh crap, I gotta wrap him around my GoPro. Oh gosh. Oh, but I think I'm gonna release you. Yes! <clears throat> oh, my I lost my weight, but look at this beast. Look at this fish! Holy crap! Let's go up here. We gotta be quick, gotta be quick guys, gotta be quick. All right, right there. Oh, that's a PB. You can see, we got 33 inches right there at the end of my ruler, and he is every bit of it. Awesome. Look at that. Make sure to get him good and revived. Good bull red right here. All right. We're gonna take a few minutes. If he needs it, I'm just gonna go back and forth. Make sure he's revived. He'll kick off when he's ready. Oh, there he goes. Yes, sir! <laughs> awesome. Been here five minutes. Landed an overslot red. We're going to go right back out. Got another piece of shrimp. Uh, he broke my bottom weight off, so I took off that bottom hook and uh, just put on a weight right there. So let's go back out here and see if we can get another one. Next time we get a fish on, I will bring the net over here because that would have made that whole process a lot easier. All right, we got bait number two coming out. Now this is uh, more of your conventional red type rig. Um, I got a 1-0 hook right there to a half a crab onto a fish finder rig. And the current should take it this way. Throw off a lot of scent in the water and we'll see what happens. All right, so for this rod, I'm going to uh, work around these bridge pylons and this little cut right here. I got me a uh, little finger mullet. I was able to net some of those this morning. Uh, one good cast I'll took. Here's a picture of that. Oh, we got a bite right here. Let's see. It's pulling me down on the rocks makes me think it's mangroves. Oh, gosh. It's definitely a mangrove. Mangrove bite, but man. <clears throat> some of these mangroves, the way they bite, man, they're just so quick that they just hit the bait and it's almost like slicing it up. If, if you want to think like piranhas, it's kind of the way they hit it. So they're really hard to hook sometimes with these longer mullet. Something's definitely been chewing on the crab a little bit. Had a lot of other stuff on him, but uh, been chewing on it. Been, you can see how it's almost sucked out dry. So we're gonna switch that bait out and throw it back out. All right, just checked the crab bait and it was gone. And I know there's a lot of mullet and stuff out here right now because uh, the mullet run is happening on the beach. So I decided I'm going to go with a 
a mullet on the fish finder rig this time and see what that happens i'm gonna get it out there i've seen some schools running through and some fish busting up on them so we'll see if we can't get maybe something to strike that something good just pull on the line this is a lot heavier setup so this will be a good one to catch something oh there he is he's fighting what it is but we shall see all right let's get this thing out let's see what we got be there be there be there. oh yeah he's still there i feel very big but he's still there getting heavier all right we got slack line again i got the net this time just in case um we shall see if not we're going to check our bait anyway but, uh, let's go ahead and reel this thing on up man it's way slack oh it's a big old pinfish all right that's fine I think we need him for bait. So we'll go ahead and toss him back. Got a significant bite here. I don't know if he's still got it. I guess he does. Man, look at how far that's moving. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, it's a nice mangrove. Nice mangrove. He may make the cut. Oh, looks like we got a bite on the on the rod too. Oh gosh, that's a good one. That's a good one shrimp rod. There's a mangrove right here in this net so he can't get away. I don't think it's big enough, but I get right up there. Oh, got him. Got him. He's still hooked. Yeah, he's still there. Yeah, he's still there. Feels good. Feels a little bit heavier. And that mangrove. We'll have to be quick, get that mangrove measured. I think he's gonna be short, but what's this? Oh man, that is not what we wanted to see. <laughs> Look how brightly colored this guy is. He's only about eight and a half inches, so he's not even close, but he is a mangrove. Target species, very cool. Get him back. There you go. The shrimp rod again. I was just coming to change the bait on it. I saw it was look, looking slack, and then it just just torqued like something was on it. I think he may have gotten away from us. Oh, no, he's there. He's there. He's just swimming at us a little bit. Come on be something good doesn't feel super heavy I hope it's not what I think it is oh it's a whiting sweet I think that's a whiting it's not a small red oh yeah it's a nice size whiting too awesome that's the target with this rod right here awesome he's gonna go in the cooler couple of them. I don't know what those guys are. Pinch those off though. What will that be? Alright. My shrimp right here. Show you how I rigged that just once. Now twice through. Looks like that with the hook sticking out of the edge. Take this guy. We threw him all the way over by them pylons over there so that's where we're going to go back. I got something on the shrimp rod again. I had something on the other rod and I just missed it. But it's alright. Mm. 
had a mouthful of sandwich, that's what I've been talking. That is not. Not why I wanted to run over here. I think I got a bite right here. My mullet is not swimming anymore. To get it off, he ripped that piece off. Like, he barely even, like, oh, gosh. Oh, man, I just saw a tarpon roll right over there. That's what I'm, what I'm making me want to uh, put on some heavier gear. I got my heavier rod right there. Oh, that was a whole mullet when I stuck it out there. What is? Oh, it's another whiting. Sweet. Nice. Nice. Oh, gosh, dang it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go get the pliers. So yeah, this tape is 12. So yeah, he's right at like 12 and a quarter. Good size whiting. Awesome. Need to get a few more of these though. I got one more besides this one. A few more of the awesome. with the shrimp. It is crazy how good how hard these guys are fighting just for their size. They're fun. But man, I need you to be about twice as big. Okay? I need you twice as big. Alright, let's do another bait. Woo! Alright, well, back in the car. It's about 2 p.m. Um, it was a pretty good day. I mean, for, for what it was, being stuck in this one spot, that's the only place I could really go fish because the wind was just, like I said, so bad. And the waves on the beach this morning were insane, um, like six, six and a half, seven feet. Uh, Northeaster wind will do that, but uh, it was still so cool. You know, I caught uh, four good size whiting, brought home in the cooler. Still working on <laughs> learning how to catch those keeper mangroves. Caught a couple small mangroves. Uh, more catfish than I care to admit. Uh, and then, and the, the prize of the day is that, that big old bull red. I hope, I think I accidentally turned off the camera whenever I was releasing it, but I got a good release on it. He swam away strong. So uh, 33 inch redfish, my new PB. Um, only bad thing about fishing is, alone is that you can never get a really good pick when you're fishing like this because you want to get them back in such a hurry uh, because uh, you got to pull them up out of the water and everything so they're sitting there but uh, it was still so cool anyway it's been fun thanks for watching we'll catch you next time